Speaking of Chris Red, Caitlyn Jenner is here. Yeah. Caitlyn completed her gender reassignment in 2017, finally confirming that no one in that family wants a white dick. Where do I begin? If you had told me back in the 90s that Dennis Rodman would be negotiating a nuclear arms agreement in 2018, I would have said, Dennis Rodman is alive in 2018. <laughs> Look, I'm new to comedy, but here's a joke, all right? What do you get when you give a teenager $200 million? bunch of has-beens calling you a lesbian for two hours. <laughs> Kevin is so short, he calls Lil Wayne, Wayne. <laughs> uh, I love Kevin Hart's career plan. Do everything Martin Lawrence did, only shittier. <laughs> and Martha, thanks for coming. I know that's probably something you don't do much of anymore. Luda and I had a lot of hours making the song Baby together. In fact, he told me it was the only baby he ever made on purpose. I'm such a fan of the Baldwins. I've never been so sure that four people have buried a hooker together. In all seriousness, I want to thank Alec. Um, in his memoir, he bravely admitted that he had once considered suicide. And I just want to say that I, that meant a lot to me because I have also considered your suicide and I have some ideas. <laughs> I even know what I'm going to wear. Seth Rogen, you're welcome, you hairy Canuck. I put you on a movie poster and I said, deal with it. And then I put Bob Streisand on that poster and the world said, no. <laughs> the guilt trip. Listen, if I wanted to watch two ugly Jews weaving through traffic, I'd watch Seinfeld's web series. I mean, it's funny the things we do for a part. Like, I know that I have dyed and cut and styled my hair, and I can't tell you how, a million ways, but not Bruce. I mean, that's his real hair. <laughs> and ladies, let me tell you, the carpets match the drapes. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying he's bald down there. I'm just saying whichever place you look, it looks like a dick. Pete Davidson, Pete's dad, never got to see him on SNL because he passed away on 9-11. Pete's mom has never seen him on SNL because she blinks. <laughs> is Pete white? Is he black? Ann Coulter needs to know if she can decide if she hates him. <laughs> Pete, I actually thought you were black, but I guess you just have your uh, dad's ashy skin. Alex's wife is so young, he introduces them as 23 and me. Now, <laughs> Alex's daughter, Ireland, is here. She might as well be named Zimbabwe, given the distance between them, am I right? <laughs> but we're really here to celebrate the real star of 30 Rock, and SNL, but let's be honest, Tina Fey said no. <laughs> Alec, no offense, but you weren't the star of 30 Rock. And, and with De Niro here, you're not even the star of your own fucking roast, you know? It's like, it's like, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like with, with, with Justin Bieber as your nephew, you're not even the star of your own fucking family. It's just like, <laughs> it's sad. I'm just like, sad, or whatever you do. <laughs> Many of you might not know this, but Seth Rogen has a writing and directing partner named Evan Goldberg. What does this other guy look like that you're the face of the operation? 
I assume he's like a sweaty Orthodox Jew eating a pastrami sandwich. Hey, Seth, yeah, I added nine dick jokes on page four. And I was thinking that the guys are friends, and then they're not friends, and then at the end of the movie, they're friends again. <laughs> and also, they should smoke a lot of ganja, Sethi. Justin Bieber, everybody. <laughs> Seems like only yesterday you were discovered on YouTube. Time flies when you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Justin, Selena Gomez had to f you. She is literally the least lucky Selena in all of entertainment history. For years, Rob Lowe had a sex addiction, but he cured it by getting less famous. <laughs> it's not easy being Rob. He said being so handsome made it difficult for him to find meaningful roles. I wanted to ask Brad Pitt about that, but he was too busy acting in meaningful roles. <laughs> Rob was great on The West Wing. You remember that show? I assume your pal Charlie Sheen helped you with that. He's used to working with AIDS. White House AIDS. What did you get? Oh. Caitlyn Jenner, I just want to thank you for all you've done for the trans movement in the size 16 stiletto industry. <laughs> you are such an incredible athlete. People forget just how fast you once ran from your first family to go <laughs> be on a reality show. <laughs> Seriously though, I know being a new mom is hard. But even Casey Anthony knows the current location of her daughter. Oh. <laughs> Caitlin, I know you've only publicly identified as a woman for a few years, but I just want you to know that I know that deep down you have always been a c And uh, <laughs> I spell it with a K though for you. Sarah Silverman. Everyone's like, she's hot for a comic, but I don't agree, because she's not just hot for a comic, she's hot for someone her age. That's right. Um, seriously, Sarah, you were my favorite comic as a kid. Um, it's and, good to see Comedy Central diversifying his talent with whatever race Pete Davidson is. Uh, you just look real, you're just real vague, man. You have a weird, vague-ass face, and I don't like it. I don't like your face at all, you know? You seem like a nice person, but when I talk to you, I don't have fun. Uh... <laughs> of course, uh, Alec's true passion has always been the theater. Alec loves to hit the stage because it can't press charges. <laughs> Alec used to be a belligerent drunk before he became a belligerent sober person. <laughs> it's true. Alec had a substance abuse problem in the past, but he worked through it and hasn't done anything of substance in 20 years. <laughs> Alec, sit back, unclench your fists, and I promise this will be the funniest thing you've ever been a part of that Tina Fey didn't carry you through. Bruce, yeah. this is a, honestly a real uh, a big personal moment for me to be here roasting my dead cousin's second favorite action star. <laughs> I know you obviously as the star of every DVD you kind of just find on the street. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that Bruce is a very talented musician because he isn't. Bruce has also been very active with the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which is where they make sick kids meet you, so dying doesn't seem so terrible. It's amazing to have Kevin Hart and Shaq here. Is this a roast or is this Tyler Perry's of Mice and Men? Uh, <laughs> Shaq's a very unique player in NBA history. He's the first player in NBA history to have his shoe size, IQ, and jersey all be the same number. <laughs> Shaq is a police officer in Florida. If you want to escape from Shaq, just jog slowly away from him. Just... <laughs> and he'll fall eventually. 
David, thanks for taking time away from waiting for Sandler to write Grown Ups 3 to be here. <laughs> David Spade's assistant once tried to kill him in his sleep, and the world was shocked to find out you could afford an assistant. <laughs> it's not bad. Rob Riggle is here. I actually really love Rob Riggle. Rob, yeah, Rob was, um, Rob was a Marine. The few, the proud, which also describes his fans. <laughs> Peyton Manning's here. I f***ing love Peyton Manning. He's the shit. Peyton, Peyton looks like if football players evolved to no longer need helmets. No, seriously, Pete, I love all of your work, especially when I saw you in the Goonies yelling, hey, you guys! <laughs> a Super Bowl is also what Peyton's mom had to cut his hair with as a child. I also want to say hello to Kendall's ex. You don't even have to say his name. It's just Kendall's ex. Anyway, Blake Griffin, Blake. <laughs> Los Angeles to Detroit. Let me tell you, I can tell you a thing or two about switching teams. <laughs> yeah, you're a nice boy. It didn't work out between the two of you. You're always kind of welcome to come over to my home and know that you're the second best athlete in the house. Oh, shit. What am I doing here? I don't know any of these old-ass white people up here. <laughs> I'm like I'm with the cast of Young and the Restless. <laughs> Bruce, you've done movies with other black comedians. Why they ask somebody who ain't never did shit with you? I don't get that. <laughs> you with Chris Tucker, Tracy Morgan? God damn, this is sad. I mean, you had a limo driver in Die Hard, Argyle, and he not even here, and he, he I don't know what the he doing, he need this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got Argyle here, what the <laughs> uh, It's funny to see like Jeff Ross and Bruce Willis up here, y'all two bald white motherfuckers are crazy as <laughs> Like both of y'all look like y'all had two different stages of cancer. <laughs> David is perhaps best known for his work with comedy legend, Chris Farley. <laughs> Tragically, Chris Farley died when his heart stopped due to a lethal combination of heroin, cocaine, and the stress of carrying David Spade through two movies. <laughs> huh. Now, as many of you know, I'm a police detective in the city of Miami. So Justin, as a police officer of the law, I'm going to give it to you straight, which I know will be a new experience for you. <laughs> I got a question, Justin. What kind of bitch eggs his neighbor's house? You caused $20,000 in damages. Imagine the damage you would have caused if you threw like a boy. <laughs> and what are you doing dropping 75 Gs in the Miami strip club? I heard the DJ play one of your songs and the dancers complained their pussies were drying up. <laughs> Justin, as a father of six, you gotta straighten up, son. You know, last year you were ranked the fifth most hated person of all time. Kim Jong-un didn't even score that low. <laughs> and he uses your music to torture people. But thanks to that music, Justin is worth over $200 million. And in prison, four packs of cools. <laughs> Justin got a tattoo of Jesus on his calf. Why well, you gotta bring Jesus in your mess? That man has suffered enough. Jonah Hill, I loved you as a baseball analyst in Moneyball, and I love you as Rosie O'Donnell in real life. Jonah was born and raised in Hollywood, and you can tell he's a name dropper with big tits and an eating disorder. <laughs> Great 
joke. <laughs> David Spade, amazingly, um, has slept with some of the most beautiful actresses in Hollywood, proving just how ugly show business makes women feel. <laughs> Martha Stewart, thank you for being here. <laughs> Seriously, and congratulations on getting that Thai soccer team out of your vagina. <laughs> and into your sweatshops. That's where they are now. Surprisingly, Martha said that prison food wasn't that bad, just, you know, as long as it was clean shaven, so. She loves attention to detail. Is she laughing? I'm terrified of her. I first met Bruce when I was working with his first wife, Demi Moore, in the film A Few Good Men. Yeah. I think it's time everyone knew something about Demi. When she shaved her head, she said it was for her role in the film G.I. Jane. But the truth is, she shaved her head because she loved her husband, Bruce. And he wanted to f his own face. And now, Bruce, one of your friends and co-stars in Pulp Fiction couldn't be here tonight, so they've asked me to pass along a message from Christopher Walken. They've put it up here for me. Here it is. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't attend your funeral. <laughs> I did want to say I've always been a fan Particularly, your work in the film, 12 Monkeys. Sure, I was disappointed that you did not portray a monkey. But you gave a beautifully nuanced performance, reminiscent of a monkey who poops in his hands and then throws it in your face. Snoop is here, Snoop Dogg, Snoop D-O-double-G. Snoop looks like a cool-ass salamander. Uh, <laughs> Snoop, the only way you'll get another hit is if you stand behind Suge Knight's car in a parking lot. Uh, <laughs> Nick Kroll! Nick! Your fan must be so excited you're here! <laughs> No, Nick, I love Kroll's show. You are amazing at characters. You're like a chameleon in that you have hideous skin and bulging eyes. Pete Davidson's ugly. <laughs> He's actually going on his third year of SNL. It's been a while since I've been there, of course, but uh, you gotta help me out now. Is it the fourth year that they finally let you see an orthodontist? <laughs> Jacked up teeth! Fix that shit! Jimmy Carr's got better teeth than he's British! Right before the show started, Seth rolled a gigantic fatty because that was the only way we could get Jonah Hill onto the stage. <laughs> Jonah actually gained 50 pounds for his role in the new Martin Scorsese film because the producers wanted the character to be a Jonah Hill type. Listen, I don't have a lot of time, all right? I don't have a lot of time. I'm, I'm currently, I'm currently over at stage 24 hosting Spike TV's Your Mother's a Fat Bitch award show. As far as I'm concerned, this guy is doing it right. Here's a couple things I know. October 18th, 2010, Bieber accused of assaulting a 12-year-old at a laser tag arena. Kaboom! March 4th, 2013, two hours late to a concert in Dubai because he refused to stop playing a video game. Say what? If anything, Justin Bieber, not only do you need to continue to live your life with the same reckless abandon, I suggest you turn up the heat. 
A lot of people only know my dad as an angry guy, but he's more than some lunatic who loses his temper. He also loses Emmys and Oscars <laughs> and custody of his firstborn child. Am I right?